Hey everybody, uh, Pete Doherty along with our newest reporter Jim Ozarski. We're, we're with PackersNews.com and we just got done uh, having a press conference with Packers General Manager Brian Gutekunst talking about the final 53. This is new around here, Ted Thompson never did this. Uh, some quirky things with the roster he was asked about. Probably the biggest thing that jumps out is eight receivers, one more than they've ever kept. Right and only two running backs. Uh, what did you make of uh, what Gutekun said about that? Yeah, it was interesting. I'd even throw in the three quarterbacks with that, Pete. I mean, it, I, it's an interesting roster construction. No fullbacks even here in Green Bay. So, I, I, you know, Brian and Mike McCarthy in the run-up to this was all about the best 53 or the best 63. And you always, I guess, kind of wonder what that means. I, I think we saw that, right? I mean, it, you know, you're keeping Trevor Davis and Jake Kumaro. Um, and, and all three draft picks at receiver. You're letting go Aaron Rukowski. Um, and, and, you know, Tim Boyle, one of the best 53, yet he ideally would never see a snap. You think, so, I, you think on opening day next, next Sunday that it's still two running backs and eight receivers? I, I, you know, as they say, it's always fluid. Yeah. You know, so you might have an injury diagnosis this week in practice that changes or some practice squad. So, I mean, Today till Sunday might change, but at least for now, this this initial 53, I think they were true to their word in that they it's truly the the best 53 players that they thought. Um, one of those players is not Khalil Mack, however, he's down in Chicago. You know, they they made a run at him. We still don't know. I had one source tell me yesterday that they that he heard that they the Packers offered two ones, but then another source said a one and some other picks. My suspicion is the second source was correct, uh, but it was interesting. He was uh, he was asked about basically uh, it was almost a leading question about was it really just too expensive uh, to have both Aaron Rodgers and Khalil Mack on the roster and all the draft picks it would cost, and it, just in theory, not for yeah. Khalil Mack. And he basically said, no, we're we're trying to win today, and if we think it can help the team, we'll do it. He didn't blanch at that, which uh, which makes me think the money and even the picks didn't scare him, he just didn't think it was enough for this particular player right. was the kind of a suggestion there. Um, so that does seem a little bit of a departure from the past. I'm not sure Ted Thompson would have even have been involved in this other than maybe a cursory phone call. But you are correct, no Khalil Mack in Green Bay. He's in the division though in Chicago. Right, and uh, it does take two to tango sometimes. So for Pete, this is Jim. Make sure to download, subscribe to PackersNews.com and the app. We'll see you next time.